Hello, this is Terry Lou Dantzler with MyiPadLive.com and today I'm going to process an image with two applications, the first one being anti-crop and the next one being touch-retouch. However, before I do that I wanted to announce that I'm now a columnist on the AppWhisper.com where you can find lots of useful information including reviews, tutorials, um, the latest news on updates, they also have app giveaways and more, so be sure to check them out at the appwhisper.com. All right, so here is my folder of my iPad favorites, and I'm going to tap on the bottom to anti-crop. And I'm going to, I picked this image of this trailer, tractor trailer, um, in the Palouse. So the what the anti-crop does is it allows you to expand your canvas. So you can expand it in many different ways. If you just grab onto the corner, you can decide um, how you want the canvas to be. And when you let go, it'll start to draw it in, just like that. But that's not the way I wanted to do this one. I, I didn't like that the tractor didn't have any more room to move forward, so I want to expand the canvas in this way. So after I do that, I would just tap on the Save button. I'll save it to the library. And then I will move forward to Touch Retouch. And I've already loaded the image in Touch Retouch also to move the process along. Both of these applications are fairly simple. They do a couple things very well. So after anti-crop expanding the canvas, I'm now in Touch Retouch, and I'm going to move um, the image, expand it. I'm in the Zoom tool right now. And my purpose of coming into this application is I didn't like the way the field looks. Even though the canvas was expanded enough, to me it looks fake. So in order to fill it in correctly, I'm going to use the Clone tool in Touch Retouch. First of all, I'm going to expand the, or zoom into the area that I'm going to work on. I'm going to select the clone tool. When you have the clone tool, you have some choices down here at the bottom where you can pick the different size of clone tool. You can, if you tap on here, this is where the source is. You tap here, you have different brush modes. I choose, I've played around with it enough to decide which one works best for me. I'd recommend you do the same thing too. So, once you have your brush or your, your size selected, you can now move your source around. And how you move it around is you just basically grab it and drag it. So I have my finger right on top of it right now. And it, then when, if you paint away from your source, you'll actually be able to paint in where the source is. So as you see, now I'm painting where the additions are being added to the image. So I'm filling in this blank spot of the field. I'm going to make this brush just a tad bit bigger here. And I'm going to fill it in and then move it and fill it in until it basically gives me enough space that I can now continue to fill it in. And you see, see, I keep moving back and forth, pulling the source into another location so it, it doesn't have a repeating pattern, which is very helpful. You don't want to have a repeating pattern. That's the whole purpose of why I'm using this application in the first place. So if I tap on the Move tool again, I can see the work that I did. And now it's much more realistic. Um, it's actually a, the foreground in my mind is correct. There's just one more thing that I'm going to do on here while I have a chance. Um, in Touch Retouch, the brush tool is very useful to get rid of things that bothersome. And in this image, whatever this post is, is bothersome to me. I don't think it belongs there. So I'm going to take the brush tool, and when you tap on the brush tool, you can choose a smaller size. And I'm just going to cover up the, the post hit the go, the triangle, and it'll process and make that just disappear. It's wonderful. All right, so now I'm going to save the image to my library. 
and it'll be that simple to do. All right, so I wanted to go through again the different steps that I went through. I have them all saved here in my photo album. So here was my original image with the tractor without much room to go and the post still there. So I brought it into anti-crop. I added more canvas to the image and therefore expanding the canvas, giving the tractor more room to move. And then I brought it into touch retouch, got rid of the little post, expanded the field in the front to look more realistic. And then I finished processing this image with the idea of an old time photo and using lots of different applications and even put in a full moon rising over the horizon. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Again, my name's Terry Liu. I'm with myipad.com and I look forward to hearing your comments about this video. Have a great evening.